I'll be in the driver's seat. Sweet. Dan, and you're going to give us a tour. DPW Director Dan Parker agreed to go for a ride to show us what the city is doing to tackle the pothole problem, which he says has been especially bad this year. But with the up and down temperatures that we've had, um, that plays havoc on these streets. We headed to Post Road on the east side, a source of many complaints. There's no more uh, patching that we can do for this road. It, it, it's patch after patch. While a stretch of Post is in line to be rebuilt in 2024, Parker says until then, it needs a quick fix. So this is 16th. We're going to be strip patching this road on both sides all the way down to 10th Street. As we drove down Post, we stopped at this place and were told they were fixing 40 to 50 rims a day. This woman was picking up a tire for her husband. He hit two. Um, he had to get two new tires and one new rim. I, I went through two tires about two weeks ago. While Parker hasn't blown a tire, not yet anyway, he says he gets the frustration. We didn't get into this problem overnight. We're not going to get out of it overnight. The challenge, not just aging roads, see the brick here, but 8,400 lane miles to cover. You know, that's like going to Anchorage, Alaska, turning around and coming back and going to Washington, D.C. We shared a viewer's email asking us to report on Washington Street potholes between Rockville Road and the zoo. The viewer said it's been horrible for years. Parker showed us a stretch in even greater need of repair. This stretch okay. is the worst on West Washington Street. The stretch west of Tibbs, he said West Washington will also be strip patched. He said it's all driven by which roads get the most complaints. When folks say, oh, it doesn't make a difference if I report it, you know, it, it actually does because it dictates where we send um, the crews like we saw back out on, on Post Road. And obviously, as you know, weather plays a big role in what they're actually able to do. And it looks like there could be a washout tomorrow. But they are hoping that over the next few days, things dry up and clear up and they're able to, uh, to get out there. And they say that Post Road will be one of the first mm -hmm. ones that they start strip patching. Well, that's good news, yeah. but I think they're going to be disappointed about the weather. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Let's find out about that weather right, right. now. So. <laughs>